Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Sandbox failed to start. Error code 0x8007015. The device is not ready. Would you like to submit feedback about this issue? So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu and type in services. Best match, should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down to the Hyper-V services. So locate Hyper-V virtual machine and double click on that. So if service status is stopped, you want to select the start option. And you want to make sure startup type is set to either automatic or manual. And there should be a Hyper-V host compute service as well right here and double click on that again startup type should either be manual or automatic and service status you want that running as well you want to also locate the network virtualization service and double click on it you want to make sure that is set to either again manual or automatic and that it is running select OK if you had to make any changes to that and now you want to go down to virtual disk so it should be close to the bottom here and go ahead and double click on that. You want to make sure startup type is set to manual and service status is stopped. You want to go ahead and start it and then select the OK. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here and attempt to launch the Windows Sandbox once again and then hopefully that should resolve the problem. You can also attempt checking for updates through Windows Update. That's something else I'd recommend trying as well. And hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.